So you want to be a better gift giver. I've made a mistake. Okay, now open me. You should watch this video. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring a portion of this video. So, you know, it's that time of year when gift giving is probably on your mind right now. This video is coming out a week away from Christmas. And if you haven't already started your Christmas shopping, you should get on that because Christmas is a week away and uh, I'm a little stressed for you. And hopefully if you haven't already, this video will help you out. I truly like giving gifts to people and surprising them and seeing their faces light up when you give them something that they really like. But sometimes it's hard to figure out what do you get them? That's the big question. Because I, for one, do not want to give something to someone that they don't like. I don't want to do that to somebody. I don't want to just give them something that's useless because then you get it and they're like, well, what do I do with this? What do you get them? That is the question. In this video, let's figure out how to be a better gift giver. And maybe also come up with a gift guide along the way to help you find the perfect gift for anyone in your life. Research montage time. So to figure out how to give good gifts, I started to look into why we give gifts in the first place. And to my surprise, I learned that there's an entire body of research dedicated to gift giving. So while I was reading through all of these articles, this one work in particular kept coming up and it's called The Gift by Marcel Mauss, who's a sociologist and anthropologist whose research was concerned with the function of gift exchange in society and specifically the relationship between the giver and the receiver. Hello. So I'm back and I've done a little digging. If we want to learn how to be better gift givers, we should first understand our motivations behind gift giving because that ultimately decides what we give. So here's why we give gifts. A gift is a message and it can take the form of anything that requires an investment of time or money and sometimes both. Those messages can be something specific, full of in-jokes commemorating an anniversary, to relatively vague, like a secret Santa exchange. So, Western research suggests that all the messages we can convey through gifts serve four purposes. One, to mark important life events like birthdays or weddings. Two, to establish and maintain interpersonal relationships. Three, to invite someone to be part of a culture, like giving a toy to a child. And four, to get something in return. Okay. So we know why we give gifts. Gifts are a form of communication and a way that we can strengthen and build relationships with other people. And alongside researching why we give gifts, I was also trying to put together a framework for how to, you know, logically think about the steps involved in getting someone a gift. So to put it to the test, let's try to give these nerds, hopefully we can put their heads here or I'm just doing this. Let's try to get a gift for Sabrina and Todd. I'm going to put together a guide on steps to figure out how to get the perfect gift for anyone regardless of who they are in your life. But we're gonna follow these steps specifically for them too. All right, let's get gift giving, shall we? So step one, who are you giving a gift to? <laughs> are you close friends, coworkers, family? This is completely normal. This step seems a little obvious. But it is important because one, you don't want to forget people, and two, some people don't need gifts. Examine your relationships and see if they really need a gift. But anyways, I'm getting these two nerds gifts. Honestly, I don't really know what our relationship is. Mentor, friend, nerds, blood elf, question mark. Step two, why are you giving them a gift? What message are you trying to send? Is it romantic, sentimental, obligatory? or something else. Why am I getting these two a gift? Well, we've been working together for a little over two years now, and I wanna get them something just to show how much I appreciate them. They don't know that I'm getting them gifts. They think that I'm getting gifts for other people. So I wanna get them something that highlights a unique moment of us working together or just things that I'm grateful for for them being in my life. I did not expect to get so sentimental in this part of the video. You know, sometimes you just have to be a little sentimental with your friends, okay? Even though sometimes that's growth. Ugh, Felix. <laughs> this is a fake plant. Okay, so from Sabrina, we've got her getting me into plants, but bigger than plants. She kind of got me into this whole YouTube thing, and I honestly did not imagine my life to be what it is right now. I'll tell you that for sure when I graduated university, but I have Sabrina to thank for that. Nice. And for Taha, I've only met this man once, but I appreciate him for one. 
impeccable music taste. So we got a little earbud situation here for him. Answer in progress would not be what it is without all three of us, but the organization that this man has brought to answer in progress, you know, I'm still new to this whole thing and Sabrina is uh, a little chaotic. Love you but a little chaotic. That's the message I want to send. I just want to tell them how much I appreciate them for being great humans to work with. Step three, what can you afford to give them? Now, it's not just money, but also time or time and money. Okay, so let's look at my resources. I have 48 hours to do this because I procrastinated. Oops, and I have $200 to spend. Taha lives in the UK. I live in Canada. To make the most of my time, I'm gonna get him something digital. But I don't just wanna get him a gift card because that doesn't seem very thoughtful or sentimental. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on him. I've realized I've messed up where these bars go, but that's fine. That's for Sabrina. I'll still spend some time and, you know, maybe write a mushy card. Gross, feelings, ugh, ugh. gross. So we know I have limited time. And speaking of procrastinating, I still need to wrap a birthday present for somebody. So let's do that while thanking Shopify for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So Shopify is a really easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for anyone looking to start, grow, or manage a business. They let you sell online, in person, and on all major social platforms, whether you're a small fledgling business or looking to go global or really large scale. So, you know, this whole video is about gift giving and sometimes I find the best gifts are the really thoughtful personal ones. Boom. So you know, maybe you've been thinking about opening up an online shop to sell some custom prints or something that would make a really great personalized gift for somebody. Shopify will help you do that. There we go. I should just get tape that's already cut. Shopify will handle all of the logistics and shipping so that you can focus on doing what matters to you and that's creating. We're almost there. You know, helping people make their entrepreneurial dreams and freedoms come true. I'm really lucky to be able to work full time on Answer in Progress. And we're always looking for new ways to grow and serve y'all more fun stuff. Nice. And you know, if we were to say, think about releasing a limited run or something, definitely do it with Shopify. But anyways, you can find out more by going to shopify.com forward slash answer in progress too. All right, now back to the video. Step four, what do they actually want? What things would they appreciate that line up with your goal and budget? Now this requires a little bit of creeping, otherwise known as listening to and knowing the people in your life. Taha is a minimalist. So I'm gonna get him something that's more of an experience, but I don't want to intrude on his personal life. On the other hand, Serena likes things. Now the problem is, if she needs something, she will buy it almost immediately. Like no sale, no coupons, nothing. She'll just buy. Sabrina, you are a wild one, okay? And I don't condone this purchase behavior. So I need to think of something that she needs or wants, but won't actually buy herself. Sleuthing time. this was gonna be easier. There's a whole guide to do this. But the thing is, how in the world do you get a minimalist a present? They don't like things and I don't wanna give them clutter. So what things do I get them? This is what I got so far. Nothing. It's not like it's a birthday or anything. It's just kind of like a little surprise, a little token of like, thank you. Thank you for being awesome humans in my life. How do I say that in a gift? This is proven to be more difficult than I thought. Okay. I figured it out, and now we're gonna go deliver the presents. Step five, buying and delivering. Now this step seems pretty simple. You just get the thing and then you give the thing. However, it can sometimes require a little more thought and planning than that. For example, I tried to deliver Sabrina's gift by hand and that didn't work. She's not home. I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave a note. I have been magically let into the building. There's no one around, so I'm taking my mask down. But the package 
has been dropped off. And then sometimes you send an email containing your gift at a perfectly reasonable local time and then it's actually 3 a.m. in the UK. Nailed it. Now they just need to open it. All right, so Melissa has given me a little gift bag. Hello, so Melissa has asked me to open this email on camera. So we're gonna do a live reaction. She told me to open it at a specific time because I think she's sending Taha an email, which doesn't bode well for what is a good gift. Hello Taha, a mysterious email at 2 a.m. with a surprise for you. Instructions, please follow this link. There's a letter in here. It says, sup nerd on it. A bit violent. She says, hi, please don't read this card aloud to camera because it's too mushy and gross. Okay, enough of the sappy stuff. Right, let's get into it. What's my gift? That's really sweet. Okay, I'm gonna open this. It's a TikTok gift. This is gonna be a bad video if I don't like the gift. Oh, this is a troll. Okay, good, because that was the wackest gift ever. I was about to roast All you. Right, now open me, okay. <gasps> okay, now open me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did she remember? Um, that's a good gift. That's a good gift. Hello, friends. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, you already know why you're here, I think. Yeah. So that means you got it? That means I sent it? You, you got it? I got the gift. I got the gift too. Did we get different gifts? I have to assume we got different gifts or else she was able to ship things quickly. <laughs> I'll start. I got, I got a little gift bag and it's for a specific smell that I have been obsessed and rationing in the form of this little hotel lotion bottle that I got years ago. So she got me the full-sized eau de toilette. This is a smell? Yes. That you're rationing. It's a lotion, but it has a very specific smell that I have always liked. But I thought I would only have this one tiny bottle, but now I have this bigger bottle. And is that a lotion as well? No, this is just liquid smell. What did you get? I got a lovely little note, and then I got a, uh, a Doja Cat TikTok I had already seen. Uh, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I got a Valorant gift card. A couple of things when I saw it. Firstly, you can see it in the footage. I like stopped talking for like a minute. I'm like, what? This is a good gift. This is sick. What even makes a good gift? Kind of exactly what you got me, which is something that somebody really, really wants, but for whatever reason, will not actually buy. And for me, that was smell. And you got me smell. Yeah, I, I'm the same, like I would, Never, ever in my life spend money on a video game. But now I have the money, I'm definitely gonna spend it. I, yeah, I think that's the perfect gift is like buying things for people who should probably just do it themselves, but they won't for whatever reason. So I started this video because I wanted to be a better gift giver. And as I started making this video and putting together the gift guide, I realized that I don't really care about that anymore. Cause you know, while gifts are fun, a gift is just one way to communicate with people to show them that you care about them. It doesn't need to be expensive and it doesn't need to take an entire year to put together. It just needs a little bit of thought. You know, that's why the gift guide isn't a list of products with affiliate links. The gift guide is a way to prompt your thoughts with a little bit more structure. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is don't put all this pressure on yourself to try to find someone the perfect gift. Give what you can and be as generous as you can, but know that your worth and your relationship with someone shouldn't depend on whether or not you can give them presents. There's so many other ways that we can show people that we love and appreciate them. I guess that's a good place to end this video. Thank you for watching and bye.